Hi, I'm Mary Chibb with Bentley Systems. Today I want to show you the next step in the tower model I've been working on with architect Topani Tyler. Now this is the fourth video in this series. In the first three videos, we used Bentley's generative components to create the basic geometry of the tower, and then a stacking model that drives the floor manager for Open Buildings Designer. And then we created more detailed, typical floor models with the glass skin, slabs, and columns. Today, we'll take a look at the top of the building. I want to go back to the stacking model and show you how I created that taper and twist for the upper floors of the building. So let's unwind to the start of the spire. So first I added a slider to control the height of the spire. Now this is the height above the last high rise floor. So anything above this last floor that will be part of the spire of the building. Remember, we already created a slider that controls the number of high rise floors. Then I created a line, just a simple line, that started at the first high rise floor and went to the top of the spire. So that is the number of high rise floors multiplied by the height of each floor plus the height of the spire. Next, I created sliders for the angle or the twist for the high rise floor and the scale or the taper of the high rise floors. Next, I created a coordinate system by the technique Universal Transform, which basically copied the base coordinate system to the endpoint of the line at the top of the building and used the angle spire slider to define the rotation and the scale spire to define the x and y scale of the new coordinate system. So you can see that coordinate system is rotated and it's also scaled down. I then copied the base curve for the high rise floors from the base coordinate system to the first three floor planes of the high rise portion of the tower. I made these first three floors without any twist or taper so that when I loft the curves to create the skin surface, it starts perpendicular to the base curve. I also copied the base curve from the base coordinate system to our spire coordinate system at the top of the building. Note that this causes the curve to rotate and scale based on that coordinate system. So now if I create a glass surface by lofting these four curves, I get the top portion of the building. And I can use the sliders for the angle and the scale to create that twist, which can go from straight up up to a 90 degree twist. And I can use the scale to create the taper. So we can go all the way down to a point or again, straight up with no taper. Once I have that glass surface, I can create each of the floor plates or a closed curve representing each floor plate by intersecting that glass surface with the floor planes. And then of course I can create multiple options anywhere from a simple tower which is straight up to something that's twisted and tapered. And of course we're using that stacking model to create the floors in the floor manager. So I'll go ahead and play those last three transactions. But of course that is just the conceptual stacking model. In the last video, we started to create more detailed typical floors for the low and mid-rise floors. However, for the high-rise floors, we can see that we do not have a typical floor. Every floor would be different, so long as we have that twist and that taper. 
So I'm going to approach the more detailed model a little bit differently. So the first thing I wanted to do was make sure that I could use the conceptual geometry I created here in the stacking model. So note that I have marked certain nodes as output as output properties. And you do that with a simple right click on the node and you just tag it as a GC model output property. So I did that for the curved floors, the spire coordinate system, the surface skin, the glass skin, and the very top curve of the building. So those are four pieces of geometry that I can use in a more detailed model of the, the top of the building. So now let's go open a second model, which will be just the, the spire. Now it starts just like the other typical floor models, even creating the slider for the perimeter columns. But then I import the geometry from the stacking model so I can use that spire geometry. First, I simply copy the surface, so I have the glass surface from the imported model. Then I offset those floor curves from the stacking model in order to create slab curves and then slabs. Remember, each of these slabs is different because the floors are twisting and tapering. And then again, I offset those floor curves to create a grid curve, which will be the center line of the perimeter columns. And I loft those curves to create a surface. So it's essentially a surface that matches the glass surface of the exterior. It's just inset where the columns would be. And then I can use, I can extract the ISO curves from that surface in order to create a path for the column. So we can see that network of paths, which will be the columns, because those columns also need to twist and curve to follow the, the exterior surface of the glass. And then we'll just extrude a column along that path. And then we'll export that glass surface and the slabs and the columns into a building designer file, which will be the all these high-rise floors in a single file. So let's go ahead and export that. And we'll go ahead and open that up and see how that looks. So there we have the glass surface, and we can see those columns behind the glass surface, and of course all the slabs, and everything is twisting and moving to follow what was designed in the stacking model. And of course, if the design were to change, all those changes would flow downstream into this model as well. So now we've got a series of models for the different floors that can be referenced together to create a master model. And we'll do that in the next video. We'll assemble that master model in Open Buildings Designer so that we could cut some floor plans and building sections and so forth. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.